Do we really have to kill the mother? I mean, that doesn't sound like a very good thing to do. Well, let's just run it down. I like treasure. If I don't do this, Shorn gets the treasure. I don't want him to win. Welcome back to La Milana. This is the only way out of Dimensional Corridor, and it drops us off in the Endless Corridor. Well, that's new. That's because we talked to Phobos. Phobos gives us this. It's another one of those mantra tablets. Well, we're not going to read it just yet. Now we're saving that for later. And now you know the mystery of the Endless Corridor and the Dimensional Corridor, and these bats. The Endless Corridor is actually the back end. Dimensional Corridor is the front end. Tiamat's a jerk and flipped them. What does this one say? Eh, nothing new. Anyway, we're gonna head to the Shrine of the Mother today. When we kill Tiamat, everything changes. We don't want to leave a stone unturned before that happens. Also, I figured out some new things about the Mother. Apparently, she does not like the eight children for forgetting her. Instead, she's gonna kill all the eight children, and she's going to make the ninth children, and they're gonna do her bidding. Hopefully. I mean, it hasn't worked the last eight times. I'll tell you one thing, the nine children won't be chocobos. We already know how to return her to the skies, we're just not going to tell her because she's kind of a jerk to everybody. Yeah, she's kind of petulant. I like that word, petulant. Now that we talk to Phobos, we are able to open up the ladder that leads to the left. What could be over here that's so well guarded? A twin gate, some dead guys, and a laptop. From Shorn. The four philosophers didn't choose him. He's too old, he has a bad back, he's not wearing green. Take your pick. Ah, oh, fine, I'll turn off your power. What are you gonna do? Save battery life? You left it in the middle of an ancient ruin. Everything's passing everything off on Lameza. The philosophers want him to kill the mother, and now his dad's asking him to do it. Well, you know what? If I kill the mother, you can't have the treasure. That's how it's gonna work. Speaking of killing things, we need to kill more of the children of Tiamat today. The 11th children. Why the 11th children? Because the curry golems are the 10th children. I have decreed it. I'm the chosen one. I could do this. I'm the only one that's green enough. Alright, which way do I have to go? I picked this way. Thanks, Phobos. Thanks for the shortcut. It heads up this way. And we're fighting a wolf for absolutely no reason whatsoever. A psychic wolf. He's not permitted to live. Heck with you, psycho wolf. Also, if you haven't noticed, when we look at the map, it gives us the names of each of Tiamat's children. Or people associated with Tiamat, like Marduk. Marduk has an item in his room. It looks like uh, this place is just one big condo. Tiamat's condo. The dimensional condo. I think that's what I'll call it from now on. Dimensional condo. Yeah, I like making up names for things. Welcome to the dimensional condo. Let's fight a dragon egg. Or it might be Mushnahu. I'm not sure which. Some of these names don't match up to the miniboss that lives in them. It's like they're renting out rooms. I'm just checking to see if I have my whip power, because these dragons are annoying me, and I want them to die. They make noise. Listen to all that racket. This is ridiculous. I don't want the dragons. Do not send the dragons. Do not send the bees. Do not send the dragons with bees in their mouth. And when they bark, they shoot bees at me. Bee-breathing dragons. I don't want them around. Ever. Okay, I have to find a more optimal place to kill these things. Running around wildly trying to whip something? Not working. It's strange, right? Hey, it looks like there's some more of that Cooney farm on the walls that we could Torrude. Maybe it's more ancient software. I was right! It's Bayo La Milana. If we combine that with our music test, we get Super Music Test! All the music in the game, including the old music from the Gate of Time, and some hellish music down here at the bottom, including the boss. 
There's another boss? I didn't know that. Jeez. This boss is everywhere in this place. Including all these mini-bosses. Only three are left. Including the one over here. It's the Red Eyes White Dragon. He tackles people. He has a lame attack. Look, why don't you breathe lightning at me or something? No, instead he's gonna fly around and make a tornado. And then he'll die. That's what he's good for, dying. See how well he died? I agree. That was a very good death he had there. Well, that's all the children except for two. There's one up here, but we need him for something. Take a look. We can't jump that high. We're gonna have to use this guy. I think his name is Usham Gallo. I'm not sure. But he makes water spouts. I wonder if he's gonna make a water spout for us. Yes! Are we gonna make it? Yes, I did. Ha! I did that on the first try. The last few times I did this, and there was other takes, I messed up, and it took like five minutes. No! Why did I jinx myself? Ah! Darn it! You know what? I'm gonna put a break in it right here, and I'm gonna get back up there. Screw it, this. Alright, I made it back up here. Let's try that again, with a little bit less failure. This time, don't hit any spikes, but these. Unless you stand on the pot, because you're still in the spikes. Everything else should be easy. Yeah, I said that before I got hit by a spike and fell back down to the dragon. Seal it, and we get a sacred orb! And now we're gonna show that dragon who's boss. What the heck was his problem? Well, you know what his problem is now? Too many whips to the face. Yeah, he's gonna have problems with these whips to the face. Except for that. You know what? I think this guy is well deserved of a good shooting in the head. Yeah! I think this guy deserves all these bullets that I'm putting into him. Okay, I don't want to waste those. I kind of want them for Tiamat. Come here, you! Yeah, you had to turn around on me, didn't you? If I could use that water spout and get some good hits on him, that'd be great. Or I could just kill him dead. What an annoying boss! He was worse than Zoo! Well, there's only one mini-boss left. And it's the one we have to create, using other mini-bosses. And we're gonna have to do it in a specific order. Also, Marduk has this for me now. Now that all the children but one are dead, we could finally light the rest of these lanterns using pedestals. And get the golden shield! The shield that'll never bounce, never break. It'll never give you up, it'll never let you down. And never run around and desert you. Because it's made out of gold. I will hold on to this for dear life. First, Psycho Wolf. You have to do the left and right attack, as is told by the tablet in the Infernal Cavern. And I saved! We no longer need it, so we're going to delete it. Also, we don't no longer need this, either. We're doing it now. To form the Mishusu. Next, we need the Room Worm. That giant worm that lived over here. Get in the middle of the room. Left and right. Now we have to head to Jolteon's room. Right up here. Stand in front of that weird-looking statue thing. Oh, thank you for a shortcut, by the way. One more child to go. And that's that red eyes white dragon that's over here. Right in front of that little spirally thing. There we go! Opens the way to Mashusu. Time to beat him up. With the gold shield, we could tank his fire. But we cannot absorb this. Too intense, even for gold. The power of gold protects Lameza from every attack. The power of gold also gave me the power to whip him in the face. Unk Jewel! Now we can fight Tiamat. We get a handy little escape hatch. Well, I guess that's all that's left is Tiamat. But she's 
proves to be quite a difficult boss. She's right here in this room. I'm gonna go quick save real quick. I didn't use the shortcuts to get back. No longer need experience, I'm at full health! Thank you, Mashusu! Or should I say no thank you, Mashusu, for being a puzzle boss? Okay, seriously, I thought it would, wouldn't take this long to get back to the quick save. <laughs> oh man, Tiamat, why did you make such a big condo? Why did you lock all your children in your house? This is not what we do. You know what? That wall bugs me. Is there a way to hit it? Is there like a secret up here or something? Eh. It's not making a hit noise. Could have sworn there's something up there. That looked like something Naramura would hide on us, doesn't it? Naramura. You monster, you created Zoo and you recreated that that dragon guy and the death trap in Palenque's room. What else are you gonna throw at us? You know what? We're gonna make you look like a chump by shooting Tiamat. She comes in from another dimension. Well, she's gonna go back there with bullets. Wait. The heck? She's bulletproof. I don't like this. No. No bulletproof maidens. Phase one, you could just stand on her shoulder. She doesn't do much about it. That was quick. But that's where the easiness ends. The rest of the time, we're gonna have to jump up here and hit Tiamat with our whip. It's the most powerful weapon I've got right now, so that's what we're gonna be using. It's very hard to time your double jump while things are flying at you from all directions. And the gold shield cannot absorb those lasers she shoots from her hair. That wall of death is there to kill you. It hurts a lot. Make sure you hide from it. I like using the sides of the room. I take it back. Palenque is in a bullet hell. This is a bullet hell. It's like she's a super boss. The boss, all other bosses were rot. Phase 3. She has even more lasers. And even more death. After this wall of death, she has a new attack. We're gonna have to hide from it. When she puts her arms up, that's where she's gonna target. And use her eight-way laser of death. You're just gonna have to run for it. No other way to survive. It's like V's eye laser. It really hurts. I wish I could get a little bit more air on this jump. And I'm just hitting her one at a time. Ah, oh, we're gonna have this again, aren't we? More lasers! More death! More... Oh god, my face! Ah, oh, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. I have to save myself. Here. RNC and move will save me from instant death. Oh, good, okay. I didn't use it up. Back to back? Ah oh, man, that's cheap. I don't like her. Man, I gotta abuse my extra life ability just to survive her. Don't hit me. Ah! You jerk, I said don't hit me. Well, she can't do any more. Ah oh, man, this looks grim. Ah! I hate you, Tiamat! They ain't lying when they're calling this the hardest boss of the game. Yes, I decided to skip all the way to phase three and continue the fight. I already had her set her laser. I'm getting out of here. Heck with these lasers. Heck with everything. Heck with you, Tiamat. You're a jerk. You killed me last time. All I have to do is double jump you, and I can only whip you once. But luckily, if I keep to the slightly to the side of that heart, I won't get scatter shotted to death. Yeah, we get it. You're gonna laser me now. This time, I will not screw up. Man, I wish you weren't bulletproof. I would kill you dead by now. But no, I cannot be cheap. Naramura won't let me. Ah, I'm gonna get lasered, aren't I? Yes! 
good thing I had all that health. All that health that was quickly drained away by one laser blast. Well, hopefully she's near death. If she starts doing a double laser thing, you know she's about to die. Like this! Yeah! Split in half. That's what I do with my whips now. Laser Tiamat! Why, Naramura? I don't like you anymore! Just wait till the sequel, La Milana 2, kill Naramura, the father! Anyway, we got some cursed treasure. We're gonna have to unlock it. The only way I know how, and it's not with that. It's the Magatama Jewel! Now we have one of the parts that we need to get the mantras. So next time at Lamalana, it's time to chant the mantras. Mother is about to awaken. Good night, folks.